back to Vlogs. We are headed inside our guest house right now. We haven't been in here in a little while. We're supposed to be having um, like a glass, I don't know, railing barrier put in in our loft. So we're gonna go see what they did so far because they came yesterday and worked a little bit. Well, before we get into that, we need to talk about a bit of the, the panic episode we had yesterday. Hopefully, when we go up there, we find out that it was in fact the people installing our railing and not just some strangers that came in with tools into the cabana. Oh, I, would, yeah. I will think, I would hope so. But yesterday we had another strange instance with the car right before we were heading out to celebrate Jessie's 30th birthday with her family. And then as we were driving along, we just like felt like we should check the cameras just as we saw people pulling into our house, pulling out bags of tools and stuff and walking towards our house. So I had a bit of a meltdown, but let's see. There's no railing. There is it? Nope. Uh, they were here for a while. They were here for a while. Uh, they might have been measuring. They could have been. Let's go up here and see what's going on. No, I see glass up there. The glass is here, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the railing up though, so I was a little worried. Yeah, that like bluish glass is gonna go across the top there. Yes, so we have glass that's gonna be getting put in. They brought the hardware which is good. I'm guessing they were just doing any final measurements before they get the top piece. I hope there's a top piece being put in. I don't know. Just gonna be glass. I mean, that'd be cool and all, but you know, people like resting on things. Has everybody been in here since we've gotten to this point in the construction? Yeah, we've shown the inside of here. It's a little bit messy right now on the floor and stuff, but like, I mean, we have shown inside here a little bit. Well, stuff is functioning now. Yeah. Things have been fixed up. The entire house like almost shifted and twisted up until the point that that mantle had about like quite nearly a quarter inch difference in between stuff. Like stuff was real wonky for a little while. However, we got a futon. Yeah, it looks a little there. sketchy right now. This is the only <laughs> furniture that we have in this entire house. I mean, it's nice furniture. It's a nice, nice bluish green. I mean, we have told you guys that this whole place is going to be Harry Potter themed which I'm so excited about. So we're getting like wallpaper. Accumulating yeah. some items. We have an entire glassware set. You got some blankets that, is, that are the Marauder map, I'm pretty sure. Yep. But yeah, we're getting there. This whole place is gonna be dark and creepy. We're not keeping the white walls. It's well, gonna be very atmospheric. Speaking of dark and creepy things, I have a feeling there's something coming up that I'm most likely not gonna wanna do. Yeah, we got- all something spooky. We got the Ronald McDonald doll, and we're gonna open it inside and play hide and seek with it. Okay. <laughs> Get ready. Oh boy. How's it going? I'm practicing hide and seek. So are we supposed to be hiding from the thing, or is it hiding from us? It's hiding from us. What are the us. rules, Jess? Because I'm actually gonna go into this with the rules in my head this time, instead of just figuring it out. It hides and then it whistles, and we have to find it. The doll whistles. Yeah, it has a whistle. Why? Why, Jess? Why do, why do people think this is a good idea? So I had all of my like 30th birthday celebrations this past week. We had three different parties because one was with my friends. One was like a small family dinner on my actual birthday. And then yesterday we had like a big family party at my mom's house and she like wanted to host it. So a lot of birthday stuff, super grateful. But I got this really cool gift that I wanted to show you guys. This is not sponsored at all, but it just seems fun. And I feel like this would be really fun as like a vlog idea. So my cousin gave me, what is it called? Uh, guess where trips. And so you literally get like a, a folder and an envelope and it's like a mystery trip that you go on. And it just sounds so cool. It's like, it's a road trip. It's not like a, a flying trip, but you get this little package of like envelopes. And so at the beginning of the day, you open the first one, it kind of gives you like prep. So I'm assuming like what you should be wearing, how far you're going, stuff like that. And then as the day goes on, you open each envelope and then it like takes you different places. like. My cousin was saying like restaurants, uh, hiking trails, stuff like that. But she specifically chose one that had spooky stuff because she knows that we like spooky stuff. I feel like it's gonna be like a creepy road trip. And so be, I'm excited. Is, what you're saying is the trip is basically the plot of a horror movie. It could be. We're gonna show up at like this very like terrifying barn and we're gonna be chased by people wielding axes or something. That sounds so fun. No, it um, <laughs> We can't do this. Restaurants sound great. Hiking trails sound great. Chased by a bunch of uh, 
weapon wielding people, not so much. So it says we can do this uh, between spring and fall. So obviously not right now, April or May. Maybe we'll do it. So we'll keep you guys posted on that. But right now we're gonna unbox Ronald McDonald. All right, so this is from 1978 and we got an eBay box of Ronald McDonald. I mean, I'm glad that it's not like a super sketchy box, but you can tell it was a regular box that they had to like quickly yeah. like jerry rig to get it to the right size. eBay boxes are always so weird. Is it going to be packed in a garbage bag? Look at the first view that I had after taking this off. I really don't want to. Look. No, I'm just gonna do this. Take a see? Peek. Even the viewers don't wanna see it. Take a little look. No, they don't. It's <laughs> the first thing I saw. You're saying this thing whistles. Yeah, so the list. That's not even a whistling face. You can see the hole in his mouth. Usually, he usually can... people purse their lips when they whistle. No, Ronald can whistle as he smiles. Or is it one of those whistles that you need to put your your, your fingers in? Because I'm not putting my fingers in that thing's mouth. Ew. It's gonna bite my fingers off. Okay, so this eBay listing did say that the whistle still works. Most of them said it didn't. So I'm hoping it does. Basically, you just squeeze his stomach and the air flows out and you have a whistle, I think. Well, we haven't had very good luck when people say certain components work because we've had a lot of listings that have just straight up lied to us. Do I have to touch him now? Well, I have a feeling you have to, yeah? Oh boy, why did we do this? I see the whistle. He smells like 1970. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Ooh, he does. He smells like a classic old musty cottage, like one that's been in the family for 70 years. Every time you walk in, you know it's probably moldy, but you just still keep going there. And yet you're just putting your face right up in that. Oh yeah. I can, I, I can see the little pieces of dust what? stuck in his hair. The whistle looks awful. What is that? We don't know, but I'm Ooh. touching it. Yeah, you are. I'm that's, touching it. That's like the mysterious like goo that old things just get. I'm not sure if that's adhesive or just like really old syrup or something. Okay, let's just try the whistle. Before. I just know anything in close proximity to humans just somehow start leaking ooze. And someone like chewed the top of the whistle where it goes in his mouth. So some little kid definitely uh, enjoyed this thoroughly. Or All he right. chewed it. He has teeth. Stop. Okay, let me just say it doesn't really fit in there, but. Well, it's because it's been pre-chewed, Jess. Okay, ready? No, it works. It does. Okay, so to test the hard and seek game, one of us- The hard and seek game? Did I say hard and seek? You did. <laughs> this is gonna be hard for me. <laughs> Hide and seek, one of us has to go into a room and whistle for him first so we know we can hear him. We're gonna section off half of the house, that way we can close the curtains and be in darkness. So do you want me to hide with him first or you? I don't wanna hide with him at all. Okay, I will hide with him first and then we put him somewhere by himself and see if he whistles for us to find him and the legend goes, when you go to find him, he's not there anymore because he's hiding somewhere new. So what you're saying is, is if, if this works, we're not gonna be able to find him and he's just gonna be somewhere in our house. Always whistling, always. Okay. So, let's get started. It really doesn't look like it on camera, but it, it's, it's pretty dark it's in here. really dark, yeah. This is as dark as we can do in the middle of the day. Okay, so I got my Ronald. I'm gonna go a couple rooms that way and let me know if you can hear his whistle. I'm going. I'm creeping myself out. Is this weird looking? Well, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a little weird, but it doesn't help the fact that in the mirror next to me, I can still see you. You put your hand in the goo, didn't you? Ew, I did! <laughs> no! I can still see you in the mirror. Still okay. You decided to put seven mirrors up in this house. This is what happens. I, I could feel the air coming Ew, out of him. don't breathe that in. It's already too late at this point. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, thanks. Okay, let's hide him in the bathtub maybe. I mean, now it's actually starting to look a little dark, but yeah. You probably can't see a, anything. No, we can see him, he's all good. So let's go into a different room, count down from 10, and then he's gonna have to whistle for us. Tabinus is clawing at the door. He doesn't want us to do this, Jess. Yeah, it looks so bright on the camera in here, but it's actually really dark. Yeah, count down from 10. In what language? French. No. Um, That's creepy. Un, deux, trois. Cat? 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now what do we do? Listen. And just like little feet pattering about. We Ew. put them in like the loudest thing that you could be hiding in. It's like a porcelain tub. Why don't we let Thomas seek with us? Go find the clown. Ew, watch when he knows. Watch when he knows. Where's the clown? Where's the clown? Nope. <laughs> Where's the clown? Where's the clown? Where's the clown? Those are my millions of books. Where, where's the clown? Here's a, a clue. It's not in this room. <gasps> oh, Bean. Ew, I'm so creeped out. <laughs> Is it still in there? I can't see. Is it Jess? Yes. What do you smell, buddy? Oh, he found it! <laughs> Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Go get your mango. Go get your mango over here. Get the mango. Get the I'm pretty sure there's like actual mold spots on this guy. So what are we doing with it? Into the basement. Into the doll pile? Into the doll pile. Is that a good idea? Yes. You Down sure? he goes. Because he has little spots on him that I'm a little concerned about. Let's put him in a bag. Okay. <laughs> I don't want, really don't want to touch him. Okay. Into the basement you go. He's in quarantine in the doll pile. Not allowed to physically touch the other ones in case there is potentially hazardous material on him. What if we hear him whistling at night? Well, it's gonna be muffled because he's in a bag. Ew! So. In the pile. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed our vlog. The next one we think, now that we have snow, is gonna be the snowflake game, okay? We've been wanting to play this for a very long time, but we need a lot of snow, and we need it to be nighttime, and it just hasn't worked out. So hopefully tonight we'll do it, so the next vlog, you'll see it. Anyways, I'll let you know if we hear any whistling. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye! The look of intensity on this little boy right here. Wait. Wait. Wait.